Hello, my dear viewers. You are welcome to this video. We're going to discuss in-text citation using the APA style. My name is Albert Agbesi Wonyo. Now, in writing your academic essays, there is always the need for you to acknowledge the sources. How do you acknowledge the sources using the APA style? In using the APA style, it is required that in the text, in the post process of writing, you should be able to provide the following information. The author's last name, the year of publication, the page number for direct quotations, and the name of the document or the title of the document if there is no author on that document. Now, let's look at how to cite the source for a single author. Now, for a single author, if it is a paraphrase, then this is how go about it. For example, we have entry 2016. So entry is the author's last name. 2016 is the year of publication. Then the citation follows, indicates that the rate of child labor has decreased in Ghana. If that is what we call the narrative, you can also use the parenthetical reference where you have it has been reported that child labor has declined in Ghana, then into bracket, entry, comma, 2016. Now, it can also be a direct quotation. If it is a direct quotation, then you have to provide the page number. So, for example, we have entry 2016, comma, page 20, states that child labor has reduced in Ghana. So, the exact words of entry are in quotation mark. Great. Now, let's look at co-authors. When you want to cite, and the authors are two, how do you cite them? This is how to go about it. So you mentioned the, the names, that is the last name of the two authors. For example, Alidu and Amuzu, 2016, indicate that oratory and charisma are essential in political leadership. That is if you are using the narrative. If you want to cite in a parenthetical reference, then that one you say, some observations have been made that oratory and charisma are essential in political leadership. Into bracket, Alidu and Amuzu. Note that in this case, we use the ampersand and not the word A and D. Great. If it is a direct quotation, you have, for example, Alidu and Amuzu, 2016, page 20. I said that political leaders must possess charisma and oratory skills. So, in this case, the page number has been provided. That is how we go about it for direct quotation. Now, let's look at instances where we have three or more authors. So, if the authors are three, four, five, six, or above that, how do we cite it? This is how we go about it. You mentioned the first author, the, the name that is first on the book or on the document, that person's last name, and you add the phrase at all, which simply means an added. So, for example, we have adote et al, which means adote and added. 2016, content that familiarity leads to fondness. So, that is in a narrative citation. In a parenthetical citation, we can have, for example, an experimental study in psychology has established that familiarity leads to fondness. Into bracket, adote et al, 2016. We can also do that in a direct quotation. If it is a direct quotation, as usual, we have to provide a page number. So that one looks this way, adote et al, into bracket, 2016, page 20. Maintain that familiarity does indeed promote attraction. Great. Now, let's look at instances where we can cite several authors. What happens sometimes is that the information that you come across, you have read it in quite a number of books or articles. So you want to cite all of them together. So in this example, we have Ado, 2020, Papai and Ado, 2017, and Smith, 2013 have proven that exercise makes the body strong. What this means is that all these authors have proven this case. 
So you are attributing it to all of them. Now, in a parenthetical reference, that one would be like this. Some studies have shown that exercise makes the body strong. Then you cite all these three sources in parentheses. So, for example, we have Abo, 2020, Papai and Ado, 2017, then Smith, 2013. Do it in alphabetical order. Great. Now, sometimes the books or the documents that we use, they do not have any name. That is no author's name. For example, the Constitution of Ghana, WHO document. So this example that we have, World Health Organization, you see, World Health Organization is an organization, and when they produce their documents, they don't put any author's name on it. So in this case, you have to cite the name of the organization. So here we have World Health Organization 2021, warns of global set in COVID cases as world approaches highest rate of infection. In the subsequent citation, you can just do it WHO because the full name has come earlier. So WHO 2021 warns of global set in COVID cases as world approaches highest rate of infection. Great. Now, when we take a document and that document doesn't have a date, sometimes it happens. You use a, a particular source and it's good, but the date of publication is not on it. What do you do? In place of the date of publication, you write ND. So for example, entry into bracket ND, which means not dated, points out that consistent imitation of what adults say facilitates child language. You can do same in a parenthetical way where you have into bracket entry comma ND. Great. So in this video, we have looked at how to do in-text citation using the APA star. Single author, co-author, instances where there are no author's name and there is no date. Thank you.